and welcome to Hour 2 of Myron Cope on Sports. The Pennsylvania Daily Lottery number and the alternate is 14. All right, it develops that the, the uh, new pirate general manager has been identified just a little a while ago uh, by Channel 2, curiously, and he is Sid Thrift. He'll be introduced tomorrow at a press conference. Sid Thrift, I gather, has been out of baseball for about 10 years with selling insurance. He used to be a pirate scout. He was also, for a time, head of the KC Royals Baseball College, at his, as it is sometimes known, down in Florida. They uh, took the educational approach to bringing along their own players, and it worked nicely for him. Uh, and uh, he had uh, scouted, I do believe, for other teams as well. He's an old baseball guy, but he's been out out of it for about 10 years. Now then, it's curious, and, and if uh, the dear Mac Prine, the new president of the Pirates, is listening, uh, I'm going to offer a word of, of advice gratuitously, and that is this. If you guys are going to continue to play these games with the outfit that broadcasts your ball games, you are going to find yourself in a lot of hot water, and that ain't a threat. It is just that it is natural for other elements of the media to kind of resent these kind of leaks. Uh, I, I would assume that the case supposedly was that only you, Mac, Prine, and Joe Brown knew who the general manager would be, perhaps a few others in on it. But I find it curious that when you have a major announcement, it pops up there on your broadcasting outlet. It is also curious that uh, Douglas Stanforth, the head of Westinghouse, who put together the coalition buying the Pirates, is, of course, the head of the parent company of Channel 2. Now, okay, you go ahead and feed them all the major announcements you want in advance, uh, dear pirate management. You go ahead and do that. But if you're trying to revive this ball club, this franchise in this town, I tell you this, you ain't doing it on the right foot. And I'll tell you furthermore, we can afford to lose all the scoops in the world on a ball team that's down on its hands and needs and needs support to get up there. We don't mind losing those major announcements. So you guys just keep that up, uh, as has been done in the past with that relationship. And you'll find that that maybe it's dumb cough policy. So, all right, Prine, you're new in the job down there, entitled perhaps to, to trip once or twice, but I, but that's a word of gratuitous advice from uh, the dear Cope, who has had a, shared an occasional toddy with you. I give you that uh, in friendly fashion. Let's get on to the hotline. We got better things to talk about. Cope on sports on WTAE. The number is 3339375. Arbery Spur. Okay, you had one, one uh, additional word on that situation. I would further tell Mac Prime that what you uh, that, that this nice little leak typifies the very many reasons why the pirate franchise went to hell. It's typical. And uh, this afternoon, I called down there to the pirates, talked to a gent down there. Uh, and said, I, I, uh, it's being said on the wires and everywhere else that you're going to have a news conference tomorrow to, to uh, announce the new GM. Uh, will you, I'm not asking you who he is. Will you kindly tell me if that is the case? Because I'd like to arrange my schedule for tomorrow. And the fellow says, I'm, I, I cannot get, offer you any comment. I cannot confirm that. All right, those were his orders. But you couldn't even find out. Uh, whether whether or not they would have a news conference. Oh, th this is so typical. Uh, not with the with the young gen I talked to down there had to tell me, but because uh, as I say, he was uh, had the handcuffs on. But this uh, this leak business is so typical of all the mistakes that that franchise has made for many years. Let's get to the hotlines. Good evening. Good evening, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing outstanding, thank you. Okay, I have a comment and a question about the Steelers, but. Uh... 